All right, so we got some fair green white cards going on. We've got God Eternal, a catcher here, which is a very powerful card when left unchecked. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 4 4 black zombie warrior token with vigilance. When this dies, you can tuck it back into your deck. We've got Biogenic Ooze. We've got Kenrith. I'm not sure I feel about Kenrith in this build overall. The fact that we can't, we can only put one one counters and gain five life. This card can't generate card advantage for us outside of Paradise Druid might be a little bit suspect. It is nice that it has five power for enabling Great Hinge though. So we've got that going for us. Um, got some Accelerants. Got Love Struck Beast is a great way to enable Henge. Got Destiny Spinner is a good threat that's okay at blocking against aggro and also reasonable against control. Ooh, I don't hate that suggestion. Games. Games was a card. Games was a card that uh, was impressive last time we played it. Generates, generates some card advantage. I don't know. Let's try it like this. I don't like to change the main decks too much when people send things in. Games. Games could be a card that we could definitely think about. Let's pop on into a constructed event here and uh, see how this goes. Green white, so we need calcs. I don't know that we quite have enough, enough enchantments for that one. This is a 1 3 defender, can give something indestructible. It's kind of a protection spell. Huh. I wonder if this is better than the one that gives protection from a color. I suppose this giving indestructible can protect from. It protects from wrath effects, but doesn't protect from bounce or exile. It's a better blocker. Yeah, that's true. This card's probably better against uh, against the red aggro. I'd be kind of surprised if I get to untap with all these cards. If we can get Great Henge down, it'll be really, really good rough so i assume we're gonna lose kenrith here because taking kenrith strands the great henge in our hand well that was an excellent draw discard that one say hello to my little friend so makes a friend every turn he makes all the friends bigger he can also pay four to make another friend Yeah, a lot of, I think Wolf Willow Haven's still a very good ramp spell. It just, as we figured out efficient aggro decks in the format, it just ended up being that the ramp decks just weren't powerful enough to be able to survive there. Like, honestly, I think I just do this. I think I just make more friends that grow. They want to triple block this to draw a bunch of cards. That's fine because they take a bunch of damage here. I think I actually probably should have attacked last turn. Wow, that's a lot of hits they just took. Deal. I think we just drop Kenny here. <laughs> Bump up the ooze. Next turn, Paradise Druid can enable Kenrith to give everything trample here, which would be great.
I promise we're gonna get to it eventually, coin flip. All right, I think I'm actually supposed to cut a Boreal Grazer here just because uh, this is card disadvantage putting the land into play. I think I board into Krieg, so you can exile their bigger threats. Click submit. Is Destiny Spinner good? I'm gonna trim Spinner and bring in the Ceratops, actually. Obviously, protection from blue is not super relevant here, but just having another five power threat is really good. Standard. Standard was so bad for so long, people got really used to never having things get cut. I think I'm supposed to keep this and hope to draw a land because I think mulliganing to five against their deck full of discard spells is just not a good plan. I assume they take our birth year. I was keeping this hand in part because if we hit a second land birth gets us to the third land god bless we're not making kenra that monarch that probably would have been fun he probably didn't want to introduce that as a standard legal mechanic though Yes, Gorks. It was added with the with the last patch to Brawl, and the Brawl cards get added to General Historic. It's bugged. It's bugged right now, so we couldn't play it this morning, unfortunately. But at, at some point when they fix their application, we will get to. We will get to play it. I don't even want to play that. I think I just like hold this card so that way I can exile it. Just want to run some lands off here. I am going to be taking this weekend off, is my plan. So, after we finish this deck, I'm going to be off till Monday morning. Is the Wall of Roots bug fixed? Of course not. It's only been four years. Come on now, stop rushing them. Not surprised to see them take our four drop here. Hey, I would like a fifth land, please. I think I keep that actually. I think that's one of the few things that's not a fifth land that's worth keeping here. Vomit. I do hope this mask is intimidating enough. Hope this mask is intimidating enough. He's dead, Jim. You've killed him. Perish the thought. So, what's the deal here? We want to draw, like, a Ceratops or a Fifth Land followed by five drops. Worst case is, like, drawing more five drops and having them discard them. Ooh, All right. That's excellent, actually. That's a, it's a land that enables our five drops for later and lets us do something in the meantime if we don't, if we keep bricking. You mean Dullhide Ferox? That is a card that's so legal, isn't it? 
been a hot second. Would you like to attack me? I would love to kill your Davriel. Poor pupper. The other modes on this don't really matter, right? Yeah. Really? Deal. I'll just take their Planeswalker out of play here. I'm going to 11. Attack this with both, since they have a blocker. Mono black discard appears to be what this opponent is doing. Can't discard the top of our deck though, huh? We're playing a constructed event. The way you can tell if we're playing the ladder or a constructed event is down here during a ladder match. You'll see my rank, mythic or whatever we are. Trade with this while they can't pup it. Need to need to find some gas. We're gonna be dead here. That qualifies. You wouldn't find this on the ladder. Not strictly speaking. We played against blue red. We played against blue red uh drowned secrets in our bubble match for the ladder the other and our bubble match for mythic the other day it's hard there's a lot of lot of different decks in this format it's hard to predict that like one thing you will or won't see all right we're done here Pretty classic example of why just purely discard base strategies don't really work out. They need to kill you while they do it. They can't discard the top of our deck. Auto Tapper did decline to leave up green for Ceratops, but it didn't matter. I saw it was going to do that. You had 15 minutes on your clock when your opponent timed out. Yikes, that's brutal. Why Death Shadow and Targoy for a point? And, yep. Even Team or Battle Rage to a degree, right? Cast my pup. Trigger my thing. Make a friend. You got a friend in me. Do, 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 do. I'll wait one more turn. I'll wait one more turn. Our colors don't have any sweepers. When it attacks, the defending player has two or fewer cards in hand. It gains flying till end of turn. Really? That, that's a card that actually kills us, chat. They've seen enough. All right, deal. Oh, Ceratops blocks. Duh. Dino, Dino got reach. Dino got reach. They scooped because Oketra can block with its bow. Yeah, exactly. I guess we keep this. We get to, uh, get to, we get to empty our hand really quickly. I don't know that we, I don't know that we go anywhere with it. We get to go. Grazer, put a planes into play. Play birth, play planes, play watchdog. It's a land bow. Something, something like that. Land ho! Uh, send a message here. Let them know what's up. Just be like, uh, thunk. Is there a flavor judge on Discord asking the real questions? 
Yeah, I gotta, gotta flex a little bit, right? Assert some dominance. Opponent might have seven cards in their hand, but we collectively have one power which can't attack in play, so I'm pretty sure we've got him on the ropes. She's actually quite annoying because it makes it if we draw a hinge leader, she doesn't do anything. How did Blue Light Control go? It was actually an incredibly good set of games. I think I'm going to tag it as the deck of the day. Just like two hours of great matches. Well, well, they technically haven't missed a land drop yet, right? Because I was on the play and hit a greaser. We need to rage cut a land. Fair. Well, we don't have Ceratops in our deck right now. This is game one. So Ceratops will definitely be coming in here. Probably over greaser. We don't really need acceleration against the uh, the control decks. Joke's on you, opponent. I don't got thoughts to erase. Is the Broco image somewhere you could access? It is not, but I could send it to you if you'd like. I believe, I believe it's in my email from my graphics designer. Uh, DM me, DM me on Discord, Demir Spy. I'll send you the file. Hey, Kanjo. Thanks for the 13 months. Welcome back. Let your weak minds crumble. Temple says... It's so awkward in a way that, like, we have temples. We have Temple Plenty and Temple Garden. It's like one of these things cries. One of them does not. We're probably done here, right? Yeah. Let's get some. Let's get some sideboard cards. Our deck. Ceratops conquers death, and I don't think we want devout decree. I think conquers death is plenty of interaction. Yeah, let's give this a go. wonder if this is cutting too many lands. Like cutting... Maybe I can't cut all four births. I do this. Let's give this a try. Our, deck, our deck's pretty mana hungry. And like I only have two mana dorks if I cut the grazers. 
I think I want effectively 26 lands in, at a minimum. So like the other parts of Birth aren't super useful, but the Fine Plains part is. That's true. It is it is okay against the Kabolas. Oh, two color mana bases. For being filmed slash drafted yesterday, the production for World's First Round is a disaster. Nearly every dra draft deck had gra multiple Graphic mistakes. One of the graphics even featured a GRN standard deck complete with Big Viv as the highlighted card. Well, I mean, so what you need to understand is you shouldn't be unfair to Wizards of the Coast. They're a small indie company that's just trying to figure out this whole competitive tournament scene. If this is something they've been doing for like, I don't know, let's pick a number. If they've been doing this for like 26 years, it would be fair to like be really harsh and criticize them and expect better. But while they're still this new fledgling company that's coming up, you should try and cut them a lot of slack. Minus 500 reacts only, chat. <laughs> you didn't know Bernie streams on Twitch? I had to click on it to make sure. I've hosted him a few times. If he's still live when I'm done here today, I'll probably host him today. The Bernie the Bernie Sanders stream on Twitch is in fact real. That is, that is his rallies. Content from his campaign. I think I actually hold on to this because this does not let this attack. So I think I just hold on to this for like post God Eternal Oketra. Does Bernie live share himself playing Fortnite? He does not. He streams this little game called The Life and Death in the Future of the American Political System and Country as we know it. It's a real nail biter. No, there's a there's a politics section on Twitch now too. Sounds exhausting and anxiety inducing. Only if you care about other people and want to see our planet survive. <laughs> we're still we're still currently in the arc of his video game where the bad guys are winning and we're trying to catch back up and make the make the hero pull through. Oh, yeah. Isleyad would enable Lovestruck Beast too, right? That's a good, that's a really good observation. I forgot about that enabling Lovestruck Beast. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. This is nice against Sweepers. But yeah, I think the synergy with Love with Lovestruck Beast probably puts the Eidolon over the top. Excuse me. Really?
We have a removal spell here. Really surprised they didn't kill Oketra. Oh, they plan to bounce Oketra? Deep below lies succulent Taurus. I feel like if I don't draw shifting ceratops, I'm gonna concede. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like we're just dead here, huh? <sighs> do we, do we, I think I think we might have finally found Grixis's mythical good matchup. <laughs> lost lost to Grixis. We knew it had to have a good matchup somewhere, right? <laughs> Apparently, the thing that Gucci got a game loss for, they had wrong on his deck slide. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh god, why are they so bad at it, chat? Why why are they so bad at it? I don't I don't it's just like I feel like we're just like well past the funny part and we're just like solidly into the it's just sad part, right? The players shouldn't have been doing that. At a Grand Prix where there's a ton of people, it makes sense to have the players do that. At the highest tournament that you're having all year, where there's only 16 people, it does not make sense. The players definitely should not have been registering their own decks. Well, doom, doom on us, chat, doom on us. Yeah, Minguchi got a game loss for having the cards wrong, so I hope the coverage staff has been appropriately penalized for their mistakes. One can, one can only hope. Hey, Snipery, thanks for the 22 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. All right, I think we're all in, chat. Just gonna try and run them down here. Fingers crossed, wide eyes, no Kaya's Wrath, please. Don't bring me down. Who? Don't bring me down. Ah, Simic, the Wet Fart Guild. All right, they get three shots at Akaya's Wrath here. If they don't find it, we could just race them. We get to sack Destiny Spinner, crack them for eight, make another ooze token. Oh, they sacked Omen, which makes them sack Doom. Deal. Did you find the Akaya's Wrath? Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Wait. Yeah, I could animate a land, but that's only a 1-1, one, one, right? Where X is the number of elementals you control. So I make a 1-1 one, one that's only 9.
If I could put them to one, it'd be worth doing, obviously, because they have Treacherous Blessing. But I don't... Oh, they're sacking their Treacherous Blessing anyways. Yeah. All right. Three, three more shots at the Sweeper. Sitting over here, fingers, fingers crossed. Bottoms up. Oh, man. Yeah, and I, and I don't, I don't have a red mana, right? So like, probably just dead here. Have to pass for the turn, so Doom Foretold doesn't eat my Kenrith. We have to discard a card. They gain life. They draw a card. Hey, we played two Doom Foretold decks in our climb to like, on our climb on the ladder today. <sighs> I want to get off this wild ride, please. Please, please, please stop. Please stop. It's been a rough set, chat. All right. Brontodon, Ceratops, Conqueror's Death in. Can we click submit? Our games with blue-white control against, uh, against the Doom decks were actually really good. Some really long quality games where, like, both players had a lot of choices. If I'm being completely honest, Bob, not having the stress of playing against the round clock is kind of relieving. Two, two hours of playing matches where, like, my timer could be relevant is, like, not ideal. Huh? Two hours is like a whole match. I'm gonna give you a timeout because I'd encourage you to read the cards you're talking about. You, you don't you don't know the text on Destiny Spinner if you thought that was a line. It's still a slog, Blong. It's not like I'm going to win the game by Tefri tucking himself over and over again bad, but it's still not quick. Like, we had, we had multiple matches where I had trouble playing against the clock with the deck, even with a bunch of Dream Trawlers. I think I just lead on this so I can make a bunch of tokens. I've got time. Do you have a Kaya's Wrath? Guess we'll find out when we attack Tiffery here, huh? Although, 10 out of 10 doing this right now. Well, I guess, I guess playing this isn't actually right. Because, like, if they have Kaya's Wrath, they just, like, Wrath us, and then Tefri's going to bounce this. Sure, I said enchantments. The suggestion that they were making wasn't possible because Destiny Spinner, unlike most effects that animate lands, does not untap the land you're animating. So the turn they were recommending playing a two mana enchantment and then activating Destiny Spinner, I only had six mana. So I could have made that play, but it wouldn't have been a good play because my land would have been tapped that was a creature. All right, I missed two points of life there. Whoops. All right, let's do this and this. They'll lose their Tefri. We can kill their Doom. 
They might just sack Doom to itself rather than losing Tefri here. Good, good play. Omen, Omen of the Sea is both really good and and good against and with this card. Quite, quite elegant. C, C, ordain indeed. Can you kill Doom in response to its trigger on their turn? I can. <sighs> oh. Um. Yeah. Sign me up. Historic would not let us play best of three with Gitrog Monster in our deck. Gitrog, Gitrog Monster is only legal in Historic best of one currently. Because quality software that has good unit tests and regression testing. Gitrog is on Arena because it's a Brawl Commander. Every month they're adding a Brawl Commander to Arena. That's an old legendary card. So Talrand was last month. Gitrog was this month. No, I haven't looked at the secret layer stuff. It's definitely something I'm into personally. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Marty. By the by the fall. By the fall, historic will be a distinct format and standard will be Tefri free. My big, my big dream is of a day where we have Pioneer on this application too, and then I never have to open Magic Online ever again. Hey, thanks for the half a year, Bums Bums. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good one. I'm going to hold on to this because it's a two drop. So like if they sweep the board again here in two turns, I can go God Eternal into Destiny Spinner. I'm gonna hold on to that because I already have seven mana and I, don't, I know what's on top of my deck and I don't want to scry bottom. But then how would you play modern? I have uh, two cars in my garage. If I wanted to experience something similar to modern, I'd just walk out there and like slam the car door on my hand. It'd probably be a similar experience. My choice, my choice of lots of different car doors. <laughs> then buy another car to mimic the financial experience. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. I think we might be dead too, Crunchy. Think we might be dead too. Womp womp. Yeah. So, 
just to give some commentary on this, I think this is again, this deck falls trap fall prey to one of the traps that a lot of different brews tend to fall prey to in that our average card quality in this deck is it's just too low to be really competitive it's been a long time in magic since synergy driven decks with individually low power cards were good that's just like not the era of magic we live in anymore and like if you look at this deck and compare the average card in the main deck of this deck to average cards played in main decks of other decks, you'll note that a lot of the cards in this deck don't see play in other decks. And the reason why that is is because the power level ultimately of what's going on here is pretty low. It's just, it's a lot of fives, the pretty minimal amount of ramps are like playing this card on turn five, these cards on turn five is really slow. We didn't really feel like we had enough creatures to consistently get Henge into play. It just kind of got picked apart by any amount of interaction. Prodigy, thanks for the third of a year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. At any rate, Worlds is going. They should hopefully be starting the standard portion soon. That's going to be it for me for today, folks. I appreciate everybody that hung out through the end here with the bigger coverage going on. I am going to be taking the weekend off, I'm thinking. So I will be back uh, Monday morning, bright and early. Monday is going to be an all-arena stream. We'll be kicking off with some historic hopefully get rog although they might not fix it over the weekend so if get rog isn't legal still on monday we'll play some talrand and then we'll roll on into a bunch of standard thanks for hanging out everybody enjoy the rest of your friday wherever you're at and have a great search your weekend